Hi guys, welcome back to the channel here on Jared Gunston TV. Just a short one on updating your Boss GX100 pedal. Uh, before you begin, um, it's best to check what firmware you are running and you do that by turning off your device, holding in the exit button and then continue to hold the exit button and turn it on. And then in the bottom right hand corner, it will tell you your firmware version. Mine is currently on version 1.10. And I see that I just saw in the group now um, that there is a new version. So what do we do? We go to boss.info. Um, we go to products, multi effects, scroll down, GX100. We then just under the picture, there's always a download section. So we go there. I like to right click and open in a new tab. I heard there's a new IR, IR loader as well. So let's grab that too. Uh, this is still BTS 1.00. All right, so once you get GX100 system program version 1.11, System program is just a fancy way of saying firmware. So we scroll down, we click agree and wish to proceed. I'm going to go ahead and throw this straight onto my Google Drive. X100, save. Same for the IR loader. And I'll be able to tell if my version is new or old. Save. Okay, so that is new. All right, so let's open these both up. Okay, system. We right click on this and we extract it to a folder. The other one was IR something. I'll find that. No, no. So there we go. Extract files too. Okay, let's go ahead and install this. And while that's installing, I'm going to turn off my GX100. And now you press and hold the right button, as in uh, not left, right, right, as in W R I T E. Okay, I'm just installing the IR loader. Okay, hold the right button and power on. All right, the pedal then pops up in a sort of right mode. Close that. There you go. You can see there. GX100 is now connected because I held the right button while firing it up, putting it into a sort of a USB type mode so you can load um, firmware updates onto it. Um, okay, Jared Gunton, boss, where's GX100? System 111. And now, as far as I remember, you just copy and paste all of these. Not You never copy the folder. Then we scroll here. Paste. All right. And now we eject. And then the pedal will then ask you a question. Okay. It would seem that as I hit eject, it has started writing already. And just note, I haven't removed the USB cable, whereas before you had to do that. <clears throat> I've just always felt more safe um, ejecting a device instead of pulling the cable. All right, we're now going to wait for the update to complete. All right, our update on the pedal is about to finish. And just before I get there, I thought I would just read under the... Uh, update history notes 
This is the note on this func functionality improvements to enhance operating stability. So maybe they've been checking out the group and certain issues that some of us have had. And uh, maybe we've done a good thing and helped where we can. Um, so that's always good. All right, so my uh, device is now sitting on complete. So that's when you turn it off. And turn it back on. And I can see my firmware is running at 1.11. So that's a quick little video on how to do it. Um, cool. Thanks for tuning in and check you guys next time.